Hello and welcome to this week's episode of Advice from Your Besties. Woo! I'm Chelsea. I'm Dr. Lindsay. Woo! Welcome. Welcome. Okay, so we are taking your questions from the gram and answering them right here. And our first question is, what are you reading right now? Mm. Um, yeah, we're big readers. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> big readers. I'm more of a thriller type of gal. So I have been reading a lot of Kirsten Modglin. 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 <laughs> they're all, I know, 250, 300 pages long. And they're all a thriller of some kind, more of a psychological thriller. Not Sometimes people get killed. Sometimes they don't get killed. But she has a whole bunch of books on Amazon Prime or Kindle Unlimited because I don't like to pay for my books. So I either get them from the library or my Prime account or Kindle Unlimited. So Kirsten, Modlin, if you need some, you know, fast psychological thrillers to read through. And then I was also reading. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Let me read. Okay. Let me get in before okay. you go. <laughs> <laughs> go. And then. And then. And then. Okay. So I too am reading. And as you may have heard on this week's episode, we almost missed our flight. Yes. Because I spent 45 <laughs> minutes in the airport bookstore trying to find the exact right thing. So by the grace of God, I did find a really good one. And it certainly would have been worth missing the flight. It is okay. called The Secret History, a novel by Donna Tart. She's also the author of The Little Friend. Now, this is a 560-page uh, book, and it is a murder mystery as well. It is set in Vermont with um, an Ivy League of sorts college, and oh. classmates get into some nefarious things. Oh, yeah. what kind of nefarious things? Uh, there may be a murder. There's planning. There's plotting. It's kind of like rich kids who have too much money and time. Oh, it's fun. Okay. I really sank my teeth into it the minute I started reading. It was like, it's been a minute since I read a book that just like, I'm like, ooh, I like this plot and I want to know. So I have not had a hard time up until this point reading more than 334 pages, which is the average novel length. Felt like a chore, but this one... I like come home to read. <laughs> I mean, I guess that's where people go, but like I bring my book with me. So, and for both of us, we're reading 52 books this year yeah. and we're making we're, progress. Yeah, we're on track. I actually wasn't expecting that book to be like that based on the cover. I know. I know. So don't judge yeah. that book by its cover. Because uh-huh. when it said history, I was like, oh, it's going to be World War II. I, I would have liked that as well. Yeah. <laughs> Something. Do we have another question? Yes, we do. We have... What's your worst habit? Oh, God. Oh, there are so many. So many toxic traits. What, what's your worst habit? Um, my worst habit. Hmm. Mm. I don't know. By whose standards? Yeah. Like a grooming habit? Or I, a, I know I or talk about myself habit? a lot. Um, I'm always like, oh, what am I I can I always doing? start a lot of things and not finish all of them. That's, That's a, your worst habit? I don't know. That's a bad habit. Oh, I don't know. My addiction to sugar at the moment. That is not your worst habit. That is okay. just the sugar industry um, preying on. I don't have a lot of belief in myself. Oh. <laughs> okay. Well, you should believe in yourself. Oh, good I no. believe in you. Okay, great. I don't believe that you don't believe in yourself. Sometimes really? I don't. Oh. No. I don't really. What's my worst habit? I don't know. No. Okay. What? I'll think on it. I really like you. Thank you. Oh. Do you have a dog? Yes. Do you know Do us? Do you know us? Of okay, maybe you haven't seen Layla on So Fired, but yes, I have a Bernice Mountain Dog, six years old. Layla, Layla Bear, Layla Boo Bear, whatever you want to call her. She's 100 pounds. She's big and fluffy. She's so cute. I have two toy poodles, Butch and Sundance. They are nine. They're litter mates. They were born March 26th, and I welcome them into my home on like June 2nd or something. Oh, oh like June 26th or something. And yes, I had to get letter mates because Doug was like, you can't, I was like, which one should I get? This one and this one. And he said, you can't leave them. You got to get both. And it was the best day of my life. Cause who brings home two puppies? I know. And they were like three and a half pounds when they came home. Oh my God. They're so little. Okay. What else? And me and Sunny really bonded. I know. Mm-hmm. She's so cute. Cute. You're either a butch man or a sunny. You're either a butch yeah. person or a sunny person. We should really do a deep dive on their personality. Yeah, we should. They're so fu- they're so different. I guess all parents say that about their children. Okay, we'll just go a quick rundown of, of Butch and Sunny. So Butch is like 
um, like a three-year-old little boy so he's very attached to his mommy he always wants to like touch and like be cuddly and oh, I love it and she's a very independent lady and she doesn't really need to be near us at any time but she is so I don't know how would... she she's an independent woman and you know if she's she, so little she's so little she's so cute if she wants attention um she might wait till Butch is out of the room mm -hmm. and then come say hi and, and she's then... smarter than Butch like a hundred percent and she's like yeah I can take it or leave it yeah. Yeah. And then she's actually the personality I wish I had. Ah. She represents the woman I wish I was. Oh, okay. <laughs> Me and Sunny have a special bond because I'm like, Butch, you get too much attention. I'm going to give does. Sunny all the attention. All right. What's yeah. another question? Who's your celeb crush? I don't know. I guess Matthew McConaughey because I can never remember oh. anybody else. Oh. Okay. Well, Justin Timberlake. Except until recently, mm. he I... looks like he's overindulging in Ugh, debauchous I've, terms. I've seen through the cracks. I'm like, Ugh, well, I how about just... this? You love Justin Timberlake that you knew him growing mm -hmm. up. Yeah. Okay. Love him like that. I also love Ryan Reynolds. Yeah. Super hot. Oh, I do like Ryan Reynolds. Um, Is that the one from The Notebook? No, that's Ryan Gosling. I kind of like him. Okay. Ish. Ish. Um, I will remember. I always forget. And then I'm like, oh, yeah, that's my crush. <laughs> so I'll get back to you on that one. You're going to say you're going to have someone super random. Yeah. Yeah. Of course I will. And then I thought there was one more. Oh, I really like Sam Hunt. He's super hot. Country singer. And I think that rounds it out. I like to have different categories of hot guys. Let's see here. Hottest sport. As in, like, what is the hottest sport to play or the hottest sport? Mm, we'll skip it. Okay. Do you have any piercings? Only on my ears. I have just a traditional two ears. Oh, and we're back to the old ones. I had a belly button piercing, but I got infected in Mexico when I was 18, so. Do you have a tattoo? Yes, I have one, two, three, four. Wow, that's a lot. Yeah. I am considering, I'm going to get my first tattoo. When? Ugh, as soon as the money tree drops a ton, a fuck ton of money into my lap. I need to manifest that. Uh, soon. Soon, real mm -hmm. soon here. I think I'm going to get at least two of my tattoos lasered off. Mm. I know. It just sounds so painful, which is why I've been putting it off for so long. I think I'm just going to start with a little one, and then I'll go with the bigger one. Or just go big one. I know. Just go big one. For sure, I want the big one gone, because I can see that one. The little one on my back, I can't see, so it doesn't really bother me. This, this tiny one? I don't even see him. Oh. Uh, yeah. Meanwhile, I'm going to ink up. <laughs> I think I look forward to like feeling like a different person, because when you get it, you're like, yeah, I'm a badass. <laughs> like, I didn't even get a piercing, but I got, like, a, like a faux earring cuff. I put it on. I feel like a badass. Oh, okay, okay. And it's just, like, a faux <laughs> cuff. <laughs> so I'm like, maybe I should do more of that. You know, growing up, I was kind of imprinted that, like, people who got tats. So we were in the 80s in a very, like, East Coast, very, like, conservative What's the word I'm looking for? Uh, just conservative values. Uh, yes, or and like dress snotty blue, like not blue bloods, <laughs> but like East Coast waspy? snotty. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. We have no grounds to be waspy, but my mom's like, ew, tattoos. Now, growing up, then it was like the sailor tattoo, where it's just like blue right. and like your person's name tattooed on your arm. My grandfather had Dolores, my grandmother's name, oh. like on his forearm. It was kind of badass. Oh. Anyway, she's like, ew, gross. And then in the last like 10, 15 years, it's like, hey, if you don't have one, what's wrong with you? It's like, mm -hmm. if you don't have an Instagram, what's wrong, what's with, wrong with you? What's wrong with you? So, yeah. Yeah. I mean, my parents also don't approve of any yeah. tattoos. Maybe it's that generation. Yeah. Or piercings or anything, but it's fine. <laughs> she showed them. I showed them what's up. Ugh. I remember my mom saw my tattoo on my back. It's this little Chinese symbol. And I got it the second I turned 18. And my like bent over one time to grab something from the car. My mom's like, Lindsay, you have a tattoo on your back. I'm like, yeah. She's like, you better not have your belly button pierced. I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> I do. <laughs> she didn't look. She didn't look. My mom would have ripped my shirt up. <laughs> nope. And then I also came home with another tattoo that they saw like a year later or something. And they're like, you know, those are permanent, right? Yeah, that's how. Yeah, play. yeah, that's how they go. Except for the ones you get lasered off. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Showed you. All right. So yeah, that's what we got. Good. Thanks for your questions. Yes. So uh, hopefully you all had a very safe, happy Labor Day weekend. Mm -hmm. And then make sure you ask your questions on Instagram. These are always anonymous, so ask away, and we will get these uh, 
posted? They're very thought provoking because a lot of times I don't even know the answers to these. Obviously, I don't know what the question is, but then I'm like, I don't know. So it gets me thinking about things I guess I don't even know about myself. Yeah. So thank you. Thank you. And we'll see you next week. Bye. Bye. Disclaimer, this podcast is for entertainment purposes only. The stories and statements expressed herein are experiences and opinions. They may not represent the views of the production studio or the hosts. If you disagree with our content, that's okay. No podcast is perfect for everyone.